Those who lost family members to violence, well, they actually gathered today in Liberty Square to call for change. Our Bo Beth Yates, she was there as well. She joins us with an update. Bo Beth. Well, Tracy, it was an emotional gathering as those who lost the loved ones due to law enforcement actually came out saying they're fed up. There is no accountability. Murder is unacceptable. Members of the group grieving relatives in every violent event gathered to call for change. Among them, the mother of Javis Benjamin, a black man killed by a DeKalb police officer. He had his hands up pointing at the officer. Do y'all see what he's trying to do to me? And as soon as he tilted to the officer, that's when the officer shot him. Despite a grand jury recommendation for an indictment, no charges were brought against the officer who killed her son. And Benjamin says she's not alone. Among us mothers here in Georgia, Every last one of our cases are to a point where we'll get all the way to the court system, but we will have the prosecutor along with the judges, along with the state and federal, they all side with the police officers. At Tuesday's rally, the group said they were sick and tired of officers not being held accountable, and they backed legislation introduced by Congressman Hank Johnson. Congressman has proposed a few bills, and he's, he's proposed the police accountability bill, the grand, for, grand jury reform bill, and then he also has um, a bill for a cooling off period. So those are some of the bills that he's focused on to make sure that police are held accountable. The bill, which has been introduced in multiple legislative sessions, would allow federal oversight in investigating cases against law enforcement. And rally organizers hope their support will help it finally get passed. We're hoping that we can make a difference in what is going on uh, in the world today. But these mothers are still grieving. To me, it's considered open. This family must have closure. As for Benjamin, she says every time there's another incident of police brutality, it brings her back to her son's case. You relive it over and over and over. It's like every situation, it caused me back to get into that place of, I should have did this. Now coming up at six, I have more details about the proposed legislation and how those grieving the loss of their loved ones say it will help them gain closure. Live in Atlanta, Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News.